Hello and welcome back to some more Dirty Bomb gameplay on objective mode. We're playing Chapel. This map, I... well, I don't really like it. It's really more of a pain in the ass to play. So, yeah, it's not my favorite. As the attacking team, you have a really hard time with the last objective. And as the defending team, you have a really hard time defending. And it's very, very dependent on how good your team is. If you get a shit team, as a single person, you basically can't do shit. Because you can't advance, you can't defend, it doesn't work. Especially with that last uh, objective, as the attacking team, you have a really hard time getting through to that last point if your team doesn't back you up. And here we do some fancy wall jumps to get really close to that. As I said last video, I'm that rushing kind of guy, so I'm just body slamming myself into objectives, even if I get killed. Just getting that little bit of progress, I can finish it up in the next two, three, four lives. I do want to get this bushwhacker dead, so that he doesn't get the satisfaction of killing me again, but he does, which is very, very frustrating. Our teammates got him, so that's very good. And now get the last leg of that repair done. And very nice turn of events, we have a doctor who is actually helping repairing these things even if she doesn't have to. Because the very the most important thing in objective mode and in stopwatch is to just get those objectives done. It doesn't matter if you die. Your kill uh, KD ratio in this game doesn't matter at all. Getting stuck on the DV is a little bit of a problem. I'm trying to get a mine up there so they can get uh, here and shoot us down from above. But even as I plant it down, it gets shot down immediately. I don't get a kill. Trying to defend and get shut down. And now go for the next push. At this point, we basically just have to stand behind that EV, try to... I heard a little bit sound of uh, the cloak from Phantom there. Try not to get distracted too much. As I said, just keep pushing the objective. And I get resurrected, put down a mine to uh, get a little bit of distraction, which uh, I don't seem to see had any effect. Uh, we see the airstrike get out of, out of the way at the same time, get the kill on that nader, who is this uh, just standing there. And get a little bit of health and get back to repairing, even though we still know that there is that guy on the other side. We get shot, get out of the way, and just hide behind that thing. Uh, notice that it's not our team's a laser beam. Get out of the way again into hiding. See it's gone, and now go back to pushing, which is, as I said, very, very important. Putting down a few uh, suppressing mines here and there so people can just. Uh, walk behind us, which is a uh, very frustrating thing to see. Uh, put down a mine there, and I think that is basically our win. Another suppressing mine if they come up from there and kill us before we can get it in, but that's already won. Jump in there, and I get a kill from behind, but I notice there's a thing up there. As you can see in the bottom left corner, I did tell my team in voice chat that there were people up there. And now you can see some very unsuccessful acrobatics of me to get up there and get a sneak on from behind. Which in the end also fails, even though I finally managed to get up there. Because I shot way too early, didn't line up my shot and then I get splatted from that bomb from Fletcher. Which is frustrating, I should have just lined up my shot taken my time. Now as this guy goes down there, I tell him there's a turret up there, but I realize midway through saying that, that uh, he probably already noticed that. 
some more fancy acrobatics, getting f quite a few more headshots, which I'm very impressed with myself at this point, because during this game my aim is getting better and better for some reason. Getting just some body shots in there, but now watch this. With some assistance from my team, get both the Doctor and the uh, Vasily down. No, not Vasily. The Skyhammer down. And we've played our way up to here. Having to do some acrobatics. Planting the mines so they can so they might not notice that it's there. Getting some reload. I don't know what killed the pushbacker over there. Reclaiming the mine because they're nowhere here, so it doesn't matter. We shouldn't waste those mines and we can pick them back up so we can get them done later. Help constructing. Where well, I'm very surprised that I didn't just pick up the objective container, because normally that's what happens. Normally it always takes precedence. Maybe they have changed that. I go there, try to kill the Fletcher, see that he could probably jump down, and now try to rush it, and then notice way too late into my jump, there is a turret. I try to throw the objective as far back as I can, so if our team comes in there and they don't return it, uh, that we can pick it up better, easier. And that turret is going to be the bane of the of this game and ultimately our downfall. Even though I kill it here, it's gonna get be put up uh, put back up later and it's just very terrible. It's a terrible spot for that turret to place it because it's very very nasty. And I get splattered in the end by that laser beam. Which I do from now on keep in mind so I don't just keep walking right into it. We have the objective. And as you can see, yep, got that defense gone very nicely, helping up my teammate. In the meantime, my other teammate takes the objective, tries to get it there. When in doubt, just help revive your teammates and the guy carrying the thing just got splattered. And this was very nice. I evaded the bomb just enough to, to survive that mine and then kill the other proxy. Got her down, fill up some ammo and go for another attack run. Get no hits on that. Try to fake going to the other side, but I don't think they bought it. And now we have to evade a lot here. Down on our last leg of health. And then basically get killed, even though we get him down pretty, pretty low, which is... As proxy, every kill that you get is basically a miracle, because you have the least health of all the classes. And I pick it up there just to reset the timer, because I don't feel confident getting it in there. We have our mine near there, so if an enemy tries to return it, they at least have a little bit of resistance, but it's not looking good, even though we still have 7 minutes, but... Mm. I'm gonna try for some flanking action, evade that mine, get him some kills from behind, notice that Fletcher way too late, but we still get him dead. I jump away from that sticky bomb because I don't know if it was just a coincidence last time, but I think there might be a perk that explodes sticky bombs on death, so I'm just trying to get out of the way of that. I noticed that there's very much resistance, but at this point it's very important to just get that turret down because it is, uh, well, it has quite a lot of health and it's very, very annoying because, because it shoots a lot and it makes quite a bit of damage. Especially since normally the team is going to be distracted killing the other people instead of shooting the turret, so we just want to do most damage we can to that thing. I noticed too late! That the bridge is gone, jump down into uh, onto the street because I see the objective up there. Hide down here from the laser beam, and now very cautiously look up, see it's gone, 
and try for another time. Their team has got up uh, a very, very nice defense at this point. It's very solid. That turret is doing a lot of damage. I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of those mines in there, so maybe they trip on it then. But no, they are not stupid. They are actually very aware of their surroundings, and they just kill those bombs without any effect. And look at those beautiful, beautiful headshots. That was just wonderful. Now, for something again very stupid, I run in there and then I remember, wait, Fletcher has a shotgun. Of course he gonna, he's gonna one-shot me. Four, minute, four and a half minutes left on the clock and... It's about time we get at least one plant in there, so... Mm, I'm trying my best. My team is trying its best too, but the defense is just too good. Try and get a little refill on the ammo? No, I don't. That's strange. Okay, so we go for the back backstabbing kill there, flanking kill. Backstab, what the hell am I talking about? Get the defuse on that thing. And I didn't notice those Fletcher sticky bombs. They're very small and black, and they're just halfway sticking to that bomb, you just don't notice them. <clears throat> And also very good work by Fletcher of uh, noticing that the defuse was going on. So he was paying quite a lot of attention. We now switched uh, to, uh, or, uh, not Aura, to Sparks. Get a little bit of doctor action because apparently I can get anywhere with a uh, proxy. But it doesn't look good. Get those revives in. Even a few kills, heal myself, which is a very nice thing that you can do. I see that there's somebody down, run over there, and now he has already killed himself. Very beautiful uh, throwing of those medkits. I try to revive him, he's already gipped himself, or maybe got gipped, I don't have noticed. And here I'm just running back and forth, trying to get those revives in, but they either got gipped or they just giving up way too early. So it's a little bit frustrating, especially after having just switched to Doctor so I could mitigate these problems of our team dying as they try to get in there. Get those revives in. That other guy got splatted, so we can't help him. <laughs> Just trying desperately to help these people, but I can't get any help in there, and I run right into that airstrike as I try to revive that guy up there. Just terrible from my part as well. Now the clock is running out. Try to get those revives in still. Just try to keep pushing, but it isn't looking very good. Somebody's trying to sneak up here, maybe get a few kills in from where a team spawns right over there. I'm trying to wait for somebody to pick up that objective. That guy got killed. Okay, so. I see nobody's going for it, so I'm gonna try to do it on my own. 
at least that we get one plant in so we have it at 50% and don't get shut out completely from that objective. Run in there, notice the turret is motherfucking back up, get killed and that's basically it. At this point there's no going back. And now we see the famous stance of people evading health packs and it gets me very very frustrated. <laughs> Especially because even after they evade them, they don't go to pick them back up. It's just, as a dog, it's very fr frustrating to see because you want to help your teammates, but they apparently don't want to be helped. Anyway, that's a defeat, but it was a very nice game. And that's basically why I hate this map. That last objective, terrible, terrible to play. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.